how to crochet a double crochet and I got some tips for you too. So I'm going to yarn over, work into the third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through the chain, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And that's your double crochet. But here are the tips. The number of chains you do for the turning chain on a double crochet is completely debatable. And here's what I recommend. If your chains are a little bit looser and you've been chaining three, giving you a little bit of a buttonhole look, I would recommend chaining two and then still skipping that first stitch after the turning chain and working all the way across. And then when you get all the way to the end, you're still going to have to work into the turning chain to finish your stitch count. Now, if your chains are a little bit tighter, definitely chain three and skip that first stitch and then work your way across. And then that chain three will be the equivalent to a double crochet. But if your chains are tight and you hate working into the turning chain at the end of your row because your chains are so tight, chain two, don't skip that first stitch after your um, turning chain and just work your way across and skip that turning chain at the end of your row. If your chains are tight enough, it's barely going to show up. No one's going to care and no one's going to know except for you. And it'll definitely save you the headache of trying to find the correct loops to go through because here I, th I'm just having a difficult time. You're just showing where the loops are and my chains are pretty loose. So yeah. And also you're not doing anything wrong if the bottom of your double crochet looks like that. But that's it. Have fun.